She want to let her go. She want to go to him. She want him instead. Y'all let her go, bro. You heard that correctly. Research has now confirmed what the MGTOW philosophy has been saying for years. Loyalty is dead. Modern women aren't worth an ounce of our attention, let alone commitment. Hypergamy is not just some fantasy made up by men living in their mom's basement. It's real, and men are starting to realize that even in a marriage, she's never yours. It's just your turn. Men are the ones who get into relationships. Women are just in business. It's become frighteningly common for a man to commit to a woman financially and emotionally only for her to leave him the moment she perceives a slightly better option available. The thing that shocks most men is how a seemingly sweet and loyal woman can change in an instant. The woman you've been with for years who you shared some amazing times with suddenly turns into this vicious creature overnight. She's cold and unbelievably brutal. This is what modern women do. When they perceive value in you, they can be the sweetest thing on the planet, but it's all an act. Because as soon as she doesn't see value anymore, most modern women won't even give you respect and decency. You'll be treated like something she stepped in on the street. Women forget quickly. It doesn't matter how long you've been with her for, you can be treated like a stranger from one day to the next. Any man who's gone through a tough breakup will know exactly what I'm talking about. Feel free to share your experience in the comments, guys. The truth that modern women won't admit is that values like loyalty and commitment are dead. This society prioritizes instant gratification above everything else. Modern women want everything all the time and they want it now. Toxic feminism. In fact, I'm not going to call it toxic feminism anymore because some of you guys have pointed out that it's not toxic feminism. It's just feminism and you're right. Feminism has taught women in this society that they are perfect little victims totally beyond the reach of accountability and responsibility. Feminism also taught women that they shouldn't have to work for anything. Feminism has taught women that they are the victims of thousands of years of oppression from tyrannical and predatory men. And this is why modern women believe that they should have everything all the time without having to work for it. In their minds, they deserve everything without having to give anything. This is exactly why you might ask a woman what she brings to the table and she has absolutely no answer for it. She hasn't even considered the possibility that she might have to bring something to the table. Feminism does not equip women to survive in the world. It turns women into terrible people. It amplifies the worst aspects of a person by encouraging women to be narcissistic, entitled, argumentative, and uncompromising. And if she has to put in any effort towards anything, it's seen as unfair or oppressive. And this is why modern women are undateable. A relationship will eventually require effort. There will be temptation from other people and times when you aren't on the best terms with each other. In the past, this was seen as just a normal part of a relationship. But these days, modern women will experience this and see it as a sign to move on. There's almost no discomfort tolerance with modern women anymore. The moment your relationship runs into some natural turbulence, she's immediately looking for the door. And let's not forget how easily a woman can justify her own cheating behaviors to herself when she decides to. Modern women can imagine some wild justifications for cheating and truly believe them. You only need to go online and look at the countless times where women have been confronted with their own delusions. Watch their reaction. They don't care. They literally do not care that they're delusional. Modern women do not care about the truth. They only care about justifying their own desires and toxic misandrist worldview. Most women are cheating. They're just better at hiding it than men seem to be. Unless you put her loyalty to the test, you'll never know. A TikTok trend arose a while ago asking couples to swap phones, and this is what we learned about women. How long have y'all been together? Uh, since... 2014. Four, married, 14. Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all trust each other 100%? Yeah. Yeah. May we test the theory? Yeah. Go I've ahead. seen this TikTok. You're going to have us go through each other's phones or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. I don't... I feel weird. They're gonna record us. I don't like it. Yeah, uh, I don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. I'm sorry. Why not? We we go through each other's phones. We actually don't go through them at all. But are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend by chance? Yeah. Do you guys trust each other? Yeah. 
So if you guys swapped phones, you guys would both be loyal? Yeah, of course, yeah. Swap phones then? <laughs> Swap phones if you're loyal. Take out your phones. Well, luckily for you, I have a portable charger. Give me a second. Okay, that's good, that's great. Yeah, yeah. You thought you'd get away with this. Put it in. Just give her your phone. Give her your... Wait, wait. Check the phone, check the phone. Do you see any messages? Yeah, there's nothing here. Check her phone, check yeah, her phone. Let me check, check her phone. Bro, I'm not hiding anything, I just don't want to do it. Just take, just take a phone, bro. Just take a, give it to me. Take, take a phone, take a phone, phone take a phone, take a phone, take a phone. I give the phone. Take a phone, calm take, down. A phone. take a phone. Problem? But what's the problem? Take the phone, take the phone, take the phone. Take the phone, take the phone. Bro, take the phone. Stop. That's it, that's it. You got it, you got it. All right, you got the phone. Okay, 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 okay. So our phones. Huh? So our phones. Far there. This simple loyalty test shows that most women have backup options. The fear in their faces when confronted with the possibility of her man looking at her phone says everything. The men don't even need to look at their girlfriend's phone. Everything you need to know is written all over her face. I honestly find it hard to believe that in this society the way it currently is, there are men out there in relationships with modern women and they don't see a problem with it. This must be naivety. Because if a man truly knew the kind of programming that modern women are running in their minds, he would go his own way in a heartbeat. He would dump her, hit the gym, and never look back. Which is what this guy did as soon as he found out his girlfriend was cheating. He did the right thing. You gotta go. You gotta go. What are you, you talking go. about? I'm asleep. What are you nah, talking you about? you gotta go. What's this? What's this? Man, What's that? that ain't me. What's that? What you, hey, chew that's your phone, huh? No. Bruh, I break, bruh. I, nah, nah, bro. Listen, bruh. You gotta go. Man, you gotta go. Why are you even you going through go. my phone? You gotta go. Why are you going through my phone? You gotta go. Come on. Come Why on. are you going through my Come phone? No. Okay. Babe, listen, 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 babe. Listen, babe. No. listen babe. go. Babe, don't do this. Babe, I'm sorry. Please, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Modern women are always looking for an upgrade, and this research proves it. 50% of women admitted that they have a backup option. I would argue that the figure is actually much higher than this. Somehow, half of the women who responded to the survey were honest. I would argue that the majority of women have a backup option, and most of the time, this backup option is one of two types of men. The first type of backup option is the Beta Bob Backup Provider. The safe option, who will never challenge her but will pay for whatever lifestyle she wants. It's a man who completely lacks masculinity and self-respect. A man who derives his self-worth entirely from pleasing women. He will tolerate all of her BS. She will most likely cheat on him numerous times while he sits there working to pay for her lifestyle. He might become suspicious, but he will never do anything about it. He's literally there as a walking ATM, and the tragic thing is, he sees no problem with it. The second type of backup option is the kind of man she will never have. The top 10% high-earning Chad with a fantastic physique and natural good looks. In reality, whenever she decides to date someone who isn't a Chad, she's settling for less. This is one of the reasons why I don't understand how a man can date a modern woman. In almost every case, she's fantasizing about another man and holding you in comparison to him. This is why most modern women have a level of resentment and contempt with the men they date. They are angry at their boyfriends for not being Chad, and they are angry at life because they were unable to attract a Chad and keep him in her life. Dating apps have completely polluted modern women. Women have been exposed to such a wide variety of men that it's completely warped their perception of the dating market. Let me explain. Let's say you start dating a woman who has a really high body count. She's hooked up with countless Chads and she's matched with even more on dating apps. This has given her an inflated sense of her own value in the dating market. Now she believes that she deserves a solid 10 when in reality, she might only be a 5 or a 6. Two outcomes are likely in this situation. Either she refuses to date anyone who isn't a 10, which we're seeing all the time, or she settles for a normal guy and secretly hates him for being normal. These are the only two options. Whenever you have an argument or even a disagreement, her mind will drift to all of the chads on Tinder she could potentially have. In reality, those men will almost certainly not settle down with her. But this is what dating apps do. It feeds her fantasies. 
warps her perceptions of her own value and gives her false ideas of the kinds of men she could date. Most women have a backup option and dating apps make this a hell of a lot worse. Some women openly admit this and out themselves, and we're getting a good look at it. It got to a point where like I was 19 and I got kicked out of my house because I was like bringing over six dudes a night. Like it just was never enough. Enough was never enough. So yeah. What? Wait, <laughs> si six dudes a night? For like a consecutive week, yeah, yeah. So, so six times 30? Wait. Is, is Somewhere my... around there, yeah. And how were you meeting these guys? Um, usually dating apps. I have like a hard time approaching men. I usually just wait until they approach me. So like, would you slot them in like 7 p.m., 8 p.m., yeah. 9 p.m., 10 p.m.? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then and... I would even, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I would say I would even like have like my backup guys to where it was like, if this guy didn't come tonight, then I have, then I would invite this guy. And then if he did come, if the first guy, guy did come, then I'd tell the other guy, oh, I'm busy. Like I can't, you know, make it or whatever. And we haven't even touched on the toxic effect of social media. Instagram has completely destroyed modern relationships. In the past, most people would date for reasons like companionship, love, shared values, and finding someone to do life with. But Instagram changed everything. Instagram made modern women believe that life should be all about sandy beaches, expensive dinners at fancy restaurants, cocktails at the most exclusive bars in the city, designer clothes and handbags, getting your nails and hair done at the best salons. I could go on, but I'm sure you get the point. Modern women's lifestyle standards have dramatically increased because of the fake things she sees on Instagram. And as a result, modern women see a relationship with a man as a ticket to achieving the kind of Instagram-worthy lifestyle she sees on social media. A relationship isn't about companionship for her anymore. It's about the lifestyle. This is why modern women demand on a first date that a man pays hundreds of dollars, She's trying to find out if the man can provide the lifestyle that she can show off on her social media profile. Instagram has exacerbated the phenomenon of female intersexual competition. Women are competing with each other, and they do this by showing off on Instagram. Men are increasingly seen as a walking ATM. She isn't dating men for love or companionship. She's dating men as a business model. Men fall in love. Women get into business. This is the key difference. It's no wonder that the smartest man in society refused to date these women. They know the truth. They know how modern women operate. The only way to get into a relationship with a modern woman and emotionally invest in her is to be completely ignorant. But that ignorance isn't bliss, because the moment she sees an upgrade in lifestyle, she'll cheat or dump you for someone else. And all she has to do to start getting doubts about the relationship is to see something on Instagram that puts an idea in her head that you aren't enough. The screwed up thing about this is that it's nothing to do with you. You are already providing enough value. If you can take care of yourself financially and hold down a job or career while taking care of your health, you are far more valuable than this society would have you believe. It's literally all about the false images of perfection she sees on Instagram. No man alive can match the kinds of things she sees on Instagram. If she decides to cheat or leave you, it's not your fault. You did nothing wrong. Her mind was warped by social media and it made her see you as less valuable than you really are. That's the truth. But this is the kind of madness that men are up against. They see that the job of a man in a relationship is to give his woman so much that she never needs to look elsewhere. This might have been true 50 years ago, but now it's impossible to give a woman that. She's constantly assessing her backup options. She's constantly comparing you to the other men she sees on Instagram or the men in her past on dating apps. She's completely intolerant of entirely normal relationship struggles. Being in a relationship with a modern woman is like being in a relationship with a ticking time bomb. God forbid you allow yourself to become emotionally attached. But if you can't get into a relationship, what's the alternative? Let me tell you, refuse to date modern women. Don't get me wrong, there are still good women out there. But you need to know what to look for. And if I'm being completely honest, they're probably in the top 5%. If you're going to stay in the West, focus on building great friendships with men. This will improve your life in almost every way more than a woman will with none of the downsides. Focus on building a great relationship with your family. Most men have work to do there, and this is an effort that will repay you a thousandfold. Unlike modern women, in most cases, your family won't kick you to the curb as soon as you go through a rough patch. 
Having great friends and family will make you happier than any relationship with a modern woman. Prioritize your health by hitting the gym and get your finances in order, which is way easier without having to fund the lifestyle of a modern woman. If you do all of this, your value will skyrocket and women will come knocking at your door. But remember, if she's a modern woman infected with feminism, don't let her into your life. I don't care how hot she is. If you decide that you want an intimate relationship, get your passport and take a long trip to a country where women still value men. Eastern Europe, Southeast Asia, and South America. Here you will find a greater abundance of soft, feminine, respectful, and loyal women who you can build a life with. And if you've built yourself up as a man in the ways I just mentioned, one of these women will never leave you because it would be stupid of her to do so. Your value will be so high in her eyes that she will fight to keep you. In most cases, she won't spin plates and entertain backup options because she'll be too busy appreciating you. In any case, nothing good can come from staying here and trying to date modern women without working on yourself. It's a recipe for disaster. Hold the line. Let's continue walking our own path and saying no to this toxic feminist society. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.